Hi guys, I'm here to explain you about what is NADA and how to get into the field of architecture. I'm also going to have detailed videos on Syllabus 2020, how to fill online NADA forms, list of architectural colleges, etc. very soon. But for now, let's look into what is NADA or National Aptitude Test in Architecture. Any person who desires to be an architect by profession has to be registered to COA. COA is Council of Architecture. The COA is constituted by the Government of India. Hence, NATA is conducted by the COA since 2006. While I attended my NATA exam in 2012, back then the structure was very different. You could appear for NATA a number of times during the year. I myself attempted twice and had a score of 108 and 112 respectively. But since then, it has changed a lot. And this is how to go about it. Today, NATA is conducted only twice a year. That is, the first paper is on 19th of April 2020 and the second paper is on 31st of May 2020. The last date of registration for the first exam that is 19th April is on 16th March and the last date of registration for 30th May the second exam is on 4th May. So make sure you register before that. It is not compulsory for you to attend both the exams. You can attempt one and give your best shot or can attempt both and the best of two exams would be your NATA score. While the registration fees for both are 2000 rupees each, that is, if you have to attempt both the exams, you need to pay rupees 4000. Now, let's talk about eligibility criteria. The candidate needs to pass 10 plus 2 examination with a minimum of 50% aggregate in physics, chemistry, and math. Also, you would be a candidate of 10 plus 3 diploma. In this case, you have to have math as a compulsory subject with at least 50% aggregate. Also, in my time, science was compulsory. But today, you need to have physics, chemistry, math in your 12th grade or you won't be able to attempt NATA. Now, let's talk about the structure of the syllabus. The paper is divided in two parts. Part A consists of the drawing exam which is of 125 marks and has a duration of 2 hours 15 minutes and has 3 questions. The next is the part B which is an online exam and consists of 45 questions that is 1.5 marks each which rounds up to 75 marks and the duration is 45 minutes which gets it to a total of 200 marks in the duration of 3 hours. In the next video, we will talk about the syllabus in detail, the distribution of marks and how to crack the part A of the syllabus. And finally, let's talk about the minimum marks you need to qualify for NATA. In the part A, a minimum of 32 marks out of 125 marks need to be secured. That is approximately 25%. In part B, a minimum of 18 marks need to be secured out of 75 marks. That is approximately 25%. The criteria to pass this exam is also decided on the overall performance of everybody who has attempted this exam all over India. So if you don't secure the minimum marks, you will not pass the exam. So that's all for today. I hope this was an informative video. Stay tuned for the next videos. Bye.